This is a sign from Dollar Tree and I cover up the front, the graphics with some peel and stick shelf liner from Dollar Tree. Once I get it trimmed up, I get some Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory, paint the whole surface of the board and then dry it completely. And then I got this printable. This is on my website for sale. All my printables are on sale or free. Go check it out. The link is right above or in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. I put a nice good layer of Mod Podge on the surface of my board, laid my printable on top and smoothed out the wrinkles with my hands and then sealed all of that in with another layer of Mod Podge. Once dry, I took some brown paint and went around the edges just like this to make it look kind of chippy, like the edges of the printable. I want it to kind of mimic that. It looks really good in person. Once I get that done and nice and dry, I took a piece of fabric and ripped all four edges to make it look tattered. I'm going to create a little pocket for this area right here so I gather up the top to make it look like it's gathered. <laughs> and then I glue three sides down onto my board, leaving the top part open. Once I get that done, I take some brown paint and grunge up the pocket. And now I'm going to take this jute that I strung up a button on just like this. And I'm going to create two little loops on each side to make it look like there's a bow. Once done, I glue that to the top of my pocket. Now I'm going to take these pretty florals. I got most of these from Dollar Tree, but some from Hobby Lobby. I created a little bouquet and used some floral tape to gather it all up together and I just slip that into the pocket. I found this blessed sign at Hobby Lobby and painted it this pretty red color and then I sanded it down to weather it out a little bit. Next I glued it right between the two bottom pumpkins. I put a jute hanger on that I did not show and then grabbed this emergency candle from Dollar Tree. The light is very harsh which it's supposed to be so I just toned it down with some orange paint and grunged out the candle a little bit and put that right in the pocket. That's it for this project, y'all. I hope you love it. Go grab your printable, check out the others that are there. Like I said, click the link above or look in the description if you're on YouTube. Here's a quick shot in the daytime and then a darker environment. Don't forget to water the vine.